confession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Shot. You son of a bitch. Just let him go, okay? Open fire! Out this way, come on! Yeah. What are you doing? Fire! We got some on our tail! I can't shoot these men! Yeah. We can! Ben, please! Hold your fire! Look out! They're still coming! Ah! We should scalp you, see how you like it! Hold you your fire!
Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm a... Uh... Uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. You don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid, and my daddy, well, I watched him die, and it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall oh. try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister.
Lager. Your eyes. We're here. Thanks. Good luck. Ayúdeme. Me duele. Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina. Ya para qué? Sadie. You okay? <coughs> Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. 
I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? You're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail. Jack. John. Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... But how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll... we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan, then? Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Is that a woman? Jesus! Who the hell is that lady? Hey, that's the lady from the hanging. Count! Let's finish! Oh. 
He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. No, I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
Come on, girl. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Chief Arthur. Hello, <coughs> Mr. Morgan. Come in. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you, my son? My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Uh, he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He uh, lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? And people who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. 
We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, uh, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch, <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. <laughs> All right. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. This is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. We'll try and find our way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Guards up front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Oh, I know. Join the army. Be a hero. Now, come on. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stay close to the wall. There's a guard right above us. He's moving. Come on. Good. Let's keep moving. Two more ahead. One down here, one up in the tower. 
take one each again. Quick, come on. Good. Just a bit further on here. need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. Put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there.
the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Come on. Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine.
wish they killed me. They wish they had a chance. Let's just get you to safety first, my friend. It's like Dutch said. They only have power to do out. This will sound swell. Them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. <clears throat> yeah!
Okay, girl. The horse is looking real talking. skinny. Maybe feed a little bit more. I got space for you if you need stabling. You won't regret it. Who else wants some? Huh? Nothing better than a well-groomed horse. That's what I thought. Thanks for your business. I'm convinced horses love that. Good saddle will go a real long way. Trust me. I think you should do it. Goes well with a saddle. You can tell the difference with these additions. How's it going? Great. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. Enjoy. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness.
Good deal. Same again? No problem. Goodbye now. And brief. You done good, girl. What the hell? What is the matter with you?
asking for it. Come on, cut me loose! <laughs> Don't know who's ah. dumber! You were them! Somebody help me! Out of your hands now, mister! Somebody help me! Better cut these damn ropes! Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. Enjoy the peace! Be quiet! Yep. Kept my mouth shut for worse than this. Oh, you're all right. Sheesh. What a bunch of malarkey.
easy now.
my, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean well, it. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind.
Get that horse out Just of here. calm down. Yeah. Mr. Morgan. Miss Grimshaw. You okay? <clears throat> sure. Mr. Bell seems to have... Found a couple of men he knows. They're sitting over there. Really? Dutch seems fine with it, but it feels odd to me. Yes, very odd. Oh, hi, Tui. Hi. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? How you holding up? Can't handle the tension around here. How did we get here? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. Well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do, and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Mike. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin! Mr. Morgan! Charles! They tried to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me! Ah! Stop. Please. 
Stop! Please, Mr. Morgan! After you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people, will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please, what of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles? Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. What have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? Handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Pimbuck too? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Quick, somebody help no. him. No, no, go. Please hurry, Albie. Come on! Help these men. Anyone see Eagle Flies? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Let's ride!
need to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get in the factory, too. This war is just ah. beginning. Ah. We gotta fight. What's the coward? How many of you does it take? So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. 
Let's go finish things. Finish what? Uh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. 
exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what PT as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is, I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You've seen the situation on the reservation. Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... Some reason to. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be. I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. Ugh. Bring him to me. My son. What are you gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people.
I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... This must be your first time. You will only find the best in here. That is a real favorite around here. Weapons here are regularly maintained and cleaned. The coal dust gets on everything. Practically a necessity in this town. Look around. Ask anyone.
You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. If any part of this weapon isn't to your like, we can change it right out. Maybe the frame, or the barrel. Anything, really. I could put some excellent engraving on this, if you're interested. People in this town are just trying to survive. I like to think I offer tools to help with that. Get that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. If you have gotten tired of staring down the sights on this one, you might want to upgrade them. You'll see an immediate improvement. Take your time. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Have you considered improving the sights on this weapon? It makes a big difference. You won't know how you managed without this. You know, this weapon would look even more impressive with some engraving. What do you think? Interested, I do offer bathing services here. have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. How would you feel about a new stock on this one? I could make one for you. That is a must for this weapon.
people need their guns around here. I do my best to make sure they have guns they can rely on. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. We could change any components of this firearm you don't like. The trigger, the hammer, the barrel. That's going to be great. Once they closed the saloon here, I knew Ansberg's future was bleak. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy. Thanks, Mister. Still, girl. Just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want, and I'll pick up the tab. Huh? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. What do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tail. Jenkins, huh? All right. Take a look around. So noted. You have a good day now.
Norwich. Norwich is the only hope. And Norwich starts with the eye. We don't need too many eyes to see that we are doomed unless we change our ways. We are throttling the very life from this place. Stop believing! Stop dreaming! Start thinking! The whole world is a single integrated system. We are destroying it! Dumbass! Who are those two creepy fellas over with Micah? Two guns, he knows. What the hell are they doing here? I have no idea. <sighs> Arthur, I'm, I'm real scared. This, this ain't good. You're gonna be okay, but be ready. Just be ready. I understand. Williamson. Why don't you sit instead of creeping around the place? You know, I'd be dead in that factory if it weren't for eagle flies. And I feel like Dutch saw and didn't do nothing. You gotta just look out for yourself now, Arthur. I mean, I could be wrong. <sighs> it all happened so fast. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> You're all talk. <laughs> you keep thinking that. I know your type.
Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more That's train. always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. City? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys, head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John! Go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of Santa I'll go with them. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into Santa Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Got it. All right. Let's 
get this done. Come on. The train's on its way. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. The Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Well, whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackin? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now. Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this? Of course we are! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! Quick, before we're on the track. No! 
move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. It pains me to say it, Arthur. But he is right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here, take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, ride with me. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. He don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. 
All this goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Before he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my... Huh? If you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too hey. late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Avi, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. Hey. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> <coughs> and Eagle Flies. Another angry fool he used, just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get. Thank you. 
Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Horrible man. Come on, 
Both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Kill his oh, Thank God. <coughs> Abigail, you ride mine. Get on, Arthur. Get on. <coughs> You'll be okay. to John. Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here.
That's the way it is That's the way it is There's a good man within you But he is wrestling with a giant I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast! Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'll be here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying! Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! <clears throat> you ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! This is Angel Rock! I'm anchored to the ship!
seems that's what they do now. Let's keep moving. Take the just up ahead. We're gonna kill you one way or another. Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. Let's go, Arthur Bush. Hey, hold it right there. Take him down now. <coughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Arthur, you go on first. Stop where you are. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie and Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. the money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there. I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground! Don't worry about them! They'll just be going back for the money! We need to get the hell out of here! Oh! 
right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. God damn you, bastards!
black lung. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Man, this is my best efforts to the country. It turns out I've won. It's over. Now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I'm dead. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Come on! That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The well, one me who went and shot him. It seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta...
find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such? Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Hello, sir. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Whoa. Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, mm. as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Hello. Thank you, Doctor. 
Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay.
No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! Take that horse if you need it. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. That's my damn wagon! Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got, we got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here, you're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. 
I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Yeah, it's me again. There. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand.
I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, yeah, partner. Come on. We all gotta earn our keep. How about you and the boy, uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh, it splashes. Moving up. John Marston. Terror of the turds. Your mother's hiding somewhere, laughing at it. The 
Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. Morning, John. Abigail? How you doing? Yep, doing all right. Morning, sir. You doing okay? Pretty good, thanks. Hi, fellas. Well, who the hell are you? Get on out of here! Hey, partner. Hello there. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. It sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. 
but I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Well, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Good. Fine. Okay. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. down and get over here, boy. Come on, son. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Oh. 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 Shit! I'll get him! Get a rope on him, Milton, and try and calm him down. You all right, Angus? Yeah. I'm fine. Anything broke? and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now, come on, you hunk of chuck. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet.
get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. I see you showed up. Runaway horse has been to some of our problems, and I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. When Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Morning. I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. Settle down, okay? That's Jeremiah. Oh, hey, easy now. Hey. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit. You're okay. okay. You're okay. I'm waiting in the corral. Stay strong. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Some energy? Show me this. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Come on. Let it all out of you. Everything you got, come on! 
You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. I need more! Come on! Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? A horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. In here. So... You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. Slipped. It's coming out there one way or another. Grab them again. Get a hold of it again. Oh, I lost it. Reach around in there. And pull. Hold. <coughs> Hold. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. It's all right, ain't it?
Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking... Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Ain't you taking Jack out? Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream... Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Faster, come on. Faster? You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go across to the street. Easy. Yes, sir. get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Hey! We said we were going back to the track. Hey! Come back here! You'll have to catch me! 
I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Oh. 